What's up guys? So this is a Twin Flame update for the collective. Um, just a general reading on Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I don't, I didn't go into which one is thinking this and how does this one feel about this one. This, I just got the message that Spirit wanted to deliver for me. So the overall energy of this reading is the rest of rejuvenation. I just really love my new deck. What is the Energy Oracle deck? It is so dope. I just love it. So, and it's been so accurate for me. We have Rest and Rejuvenation. We have the Prudence Toth card, Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Rejection card. This is just saying, uh, you've been working. You've been working really hard on something and you haven't been getting the results that you are expecting. You're working hard on this union potentially working hard on your passion and your dreams. I really believe it's related to your passion or your dreams or your goals. So again, before you unify with your partner, typically, if you are truly a twin flame, if you're truly on a divine spiritual journey, you work hard on yourself first and your dreams and your goals and yourself overall, a balance of your individual self. And the end of this reading is balanced. So that's dope. But anyway, so you've been rejected you've been working very very hard to master your craft and working on your passion and spirit is saying it's time for you to get some rest and rejuvenation and recover from you know just this time period of hard work sometimes when you put the work in the next step is just to release it because you know you've done the work and you've done all you can and you've and maybe it just wasn't time for it to manifest at the time but with some rest and rejuvenation Spirit can take the load off of you and take it to the next level for you. So with that being said, the first card is the appreciation card. You see how she has that beautiful, 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 I want to say flower, whatever that is, in her hand. Uh, why is my lighting doing this? It's really beautiful and she's not paying attention to the thorns around her. So with that, that's just telling us that when you get your rest and rejuvenation and you, you try to... Lose focus on, stop focusing on what was rejected and what isn't happening and start focusing on things that you are grateful for. Write down a list of things every day that you're grateful for. When you wake up and you go to sleep, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful that I have this. I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for this journey. Just think about the things that you're grateful for and show gratitude to the universe for the little things that you have, knowing that more is coming. Gratefulness isn't contentment. Gratefulness isn't complacency. Gratefulness is... I'm happy with this thing that happened right instead of I'm unhappy with these nine things that happened wrong or that didn't happen. Gratefulness is just focusing on things that happened right and being appreciative of the things that happened right, knowing that more is to come. Then we have the community card. This is saying that I love this card because it reminds me of the three of cups, like celebration. But this is just saying that like-minded individuals are going to flow to you. You're going to have energy is going to be, the energy is going to flow towards you. You're in the flow of the energies around you. But it's just saying that like-minded individuals, your community is building. Your nation, your community of like-minded individuals on the same vibration as you or seeking that vibration of that you're on, they're flowing to you. So as you show gratitude and appreciation for this journey, as you show gratitude and appreciation for the things that are happening that's good in your life, people will flow to you. Um, your vibration, when you vibe higher, the energy flows to you and it flows through you. And you'll be connected with your community. Community of whatever you're doing. If you're a teacher, a community of teacher, if you're a spiritual teacher, a community of people seeking spiritual knowledge, you're going to be connected with your people. Yes, this is a divine masculine, divine feminine twin frame reading, but this is more focused on... Um, at the end of this reading is unification and balance and forgiveness. But in the beginning of this reading is the steps. It's taking us through a journey, somebody's journey of being rejected, of working hard, of getting now putting in a place of rest. But it's taking us through their journey of how they're going to be unified with their partner. And it's taking us step by step. There's rest and rejuvenation. There's appreciation. There's be connected with your community. And the next step is manifestation of your goals and dreams on a whole new level with the aeon card you're going to be connected you're going to be 
uh, not only are you going to be connected with like-minded individuals in your community, but this is receiving on a whole nother level. This is double completion. This is unification of both your innate divine masculine and divine feminine energies. So, and it's related to your passion because it's clarified by the passion card. So whatever you're passionate about or whatever your, your purpose is, whatever you've been working on, it's going to finally come together for you. I'm not getting that this, even though this is double completion internally and externally, I'm getting that this is about you and receiving from the divine and new levels and new heights as it pertains to your passion, manifesting it, being able to live in your purpose and and receive everything that's been every the things that have been rejected in the past. This is coming to you um, when you get to this point. So maybe right now you're at the point of. You've put the work in. Now you just need to rest and relax and release. Release into the universe. And then you'll be at the point, at the, oh, excuse me, at the same time showing gratitude and appreciation for the things that you do have. Then you'll get to a point where you're being connected with like-minded individuals in your community, people who are on the same level as you, but also people who are following you and, and the following and the community of people who would like to be on your vibration. Then you're going to receive from the divine whole new levels of life, whole new levels of living, double completion, balance, as it pertains to your passion. This is blessings. This is gifts. This is manifestation. This is at a whole new level, though. This is re resurrection type. New beginnings, new birth, new life. Resurrection. Your passion is going to be resurrected. It may seem dead right now with the prudence card. It may seem dead right now. And you're trying to bring it alive, but you're being rejected. But know that it's coming. The people are flowing to you, and you are going to receive new levels, new heights, and it's going to be resurrected. Your passion, your goals, your dreams is going to be resurrected. Then we have the Ace of Cups, and this is individual. Ace of Cups, you know, the number one. This is you. This is happiness. This is emotional fulfillment. This is being fulfilled and fulfilling a feeling of new beginnings and completeness in your life as an individual. Um, yeah, we are talking about the union, yes, again, but we're focusing on the steps that's going to take you to your union. I didn't ask for this reading. Spirit gave it to me, so I'm, you know, I'm relaying the message. But this is you on an individual level being fulfilled and complete and happy with your life, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, your cup runneth over. When you receive from the divine, there is, it's inevitable that you feel this way. Think about it. Receiving on a divine level as it pertains to your passion this is a feeling of completeness this is a feeling of wholeness this is a feeling of being one with yourself this is a feeling of this is fulfillment on a divine level then we have the sorrow card clarified by renewal this is just reiterating beginnings that sadness turns into happiness that sadness turns into renewal that sadness turns into new births and new beginnings and it's no longer sadness anymore because you're on a whole level of, a level of living. So all what you went through before, it was all to bring you to a new level of living. All that sorrow, all the rejection, the things that you went through in the past and during this journey was only taking you to the necessary steps and process to remove yourself of the ego and to renew you as a person, to bring you to new levels of life and new levels, new heights, new understandings, new perception, um, being one with yourself, being in union with yourself, with your true self, so that you can follow your passion and your purpose in life and be taken on new levels of living. It's about renewal. It's about rebirth. It's about all the three of these. About, you know, rebirth, regeneration, resurrection, and new levels and new heights and new life. And more life. What I'm also getting from this three of swords and this renewal card combination is going within because you have to make a decision this could be facing a painful truth as it pertains to two people in your life you being the third person you may have to choose between um, three people you may have to choose between two people a soulmate and a twin flame both who are very good choices or good options but this is going within knowing that you have to grow a strong foundation in your life in your life and you want to do that with your twin flame with your partner with your soulmate, whoever you choose. But this is going within to face a painful truth, to face a decision and to make a decision um, in your life pertinent to growing a strong foundation or pertinent to um, expansion and growth because that's the next combination. Expansion with the sun. With the expansion card, it brings new relationships. Look at that. That's union. 
that's bringing new relationships, new beginnings, and new people into your life and releasing the old relationships, releasing the old expectations that you may have had with this divine mass and divine feminine partnership with this union, releasing old people, releasing old thoughts and old patterns, um, and opening and being open to new to new people. It may not be a new person, but you know, to someone else or being open to your soulmate, being open to your twin flame, being open to this new par partnership and this new way of living that's going to expand you. Of course, when you have two divine partners come together, you innately are being expanded and taken to new levels and new heights because both of you are whole individual per people who are one with yourself and God and you're coming together and you're expanding your life, you're expanding your foundation and you're, you're growing and it's the sun. Look at this. You're becoming one with God. It's the manifestation of your true self. It's following your heart. It's being with the person that you're supposed to be with. It's being one with your true self. Look at these. Look, this is so beautiful. I've never really paid much attention to the dualities in this card. You have the scales in this card. You have the twins in this card. You, it's so many things in this card that you can pay attention to. But it's manifested. This is coming together in union this is choosing you've already chosen the person that you want to be with but it's choosing the right person and, and manifesting new levels of life because you're with your divine partner so at this point you've come together at this point you've joined you've come you've come one with the god you're union you're in union so after this after you have self-fulfillment and fulfillment in your own self and your own life as an individual, you make a decision, a painful decision, a painful truth. You face that and you come together with your divine partner and you're taking to new levels and new heights and new levels of understanding, new perceptions, more life. It, you know, it adds to you. It expands you. It solidifies your foundation. The last pair we have in the reading is the Lust card from the Tote deck. Clarified by forgiveness. You could be in union. This is this is returning to union. It, it could be with a Leo, but this is it could literally mean lust. <laughs> um, you know how if you have ever connected with your divine partner, know that it is the lust is real. Um, but it's the chemistry as well. It's taken on a whole nother level, another level of connection spiritually and sexually with your partner so it could attune to actual lust but really this is coming together with your partner this is being in union and um whole new heights and passion a new joy of life power vitality unconditional devotion satisfaction um, new energy and new passion from being together and being in union with your partner then coupled with the forgiveness card it's it's healing um, it is returning to a natural state of peace. I love how they put that. Um, it's loving those and forgiving those who betrayed you. This is personal evolution. When you come together with your divine partner, and it's a whole new level of peace associated with it. But when you in when you're in union, union, and you're not, you know, in the back and forth stage or the chasing stage or the separation stage, when you finally come together with your divine partner and you reach this new level of passionate energy for life and new and new levels of love and lust and chemistry, your whole like it's how can you harbor any negative energy when you're at that state of peace? When you're at a natural state of peace, you, there is no room for negative energy. So innately you forgive. And, you know, inevitably, undeniably, it's like it comes. You forgive because you're at a place of peace. You're one with yourself and God and your partner. There is no room for anything that doesn't, it's not conducive to being positive and negative and balanced. Because you're balanced, you're in perfect balance with your partner, you're in, you're in union. So there's forgiveness, there's peace, there's healing, there's protection from toxicity. You know, there's removal of toxic situation and feelings anyway. It is love on a whole new level and personal evolution and together union evolution on a whole new level. And that's where you, that's the goal. The goal is to be in union with your partner and a whole no, new levels of life, a whole new level of love, a whole new level of peace, a whole new level of understanding of life and spirituality and, and existence and purpose and being fired up and having that passion and having that chemistry on a daily basis. If you've experienced it, like over however you, long you were with your partner before you separated or before, you know, 
how, I don't know, maybe you haven't connected with your divine partner yet, whatever stage you're in, but if you have ever connected with your divine partner and you experienced that level of peace, this is a continued state of it. Just imagine a continued state of union, how that feels to be with your divine partner every day and to be and feel that healing and peace and be balanced every day. I, it's so good, I can't even imagine it. I hope you resonate with this reading because it's dope. Even though you've experienced rejection, even though you've been working hard, you may not have gotten the results that you, I relate to that. I'm not even going to lie. Even on this YouTube channel and trying to build my audience and connect with like-minded individuals and people on this journey and people seeking spiritual knowledge and business and things of that sort, even YouTube just rejected me. Like, wouldn't lie me. They won't promote my channel. They said something about ads. My ad account being suspended, and I've never had a Google ad, ever. I've never advertised on YouTube. I've never had a Google ad. I've literally only been active on this channel for like a month or two. So it's like, it's, it's tiresome. It, it really is. Going through that and all the other things that I've been through in my spiritual journey that you've been through in your spiritual journey, sometimes rest and rejuvenation is needed. Sometimes you have to go within and meditate. But know that everything you've went through and, and that we're going through is leading us to this perfect place of peace of this union, of forgiveness, of healing. Um, but never stop, never stop showing gratitude and appreciation for the things that you have. And I'll start my days, you know, I'll start back doing that as well. I used to wake up and go to sleep and say, I forgive everybody for everything, including myself. And I'm going to start doing that too, because I think it's a self um, forgiveness that I have to attune to. But also, showing appreciation and gratitude for the things that are going right instead of just focusing on all of the things that are going wrong. If you look at this card, more things are, there are more thorns than there are flowers and blooming um, flowers. But she's happy with that, what's blooming. And I'm going to get back to that state. And I think, and I encourage you to do the same. And know that once we get to that vibrational frequency that we should be on, we'll be connected with those that we should be connected with naturally. And the divine is working for us. God is working for us. Our angels, our spirit guides are working for us. And, and it's bringing us to resurrection. And ultimately, to union, to expansion, to renewal, and to our cup runneth over. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more light. If you want a personal reading, click the link in my description. If you want a business reading, click the link in my description. If you want anything from me, if you want to reach out to me, click the link in my description and contact me on my website. Again, I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more light. Peace. This would definitely